there are no real borders for violence, hate and all these manifestations of anti-Semitism. After the Second World War, you had some Jews who came back to Luxembourg because uh, the Shoah was, uh, had a considerable consequence, uh, considerable impact on the Jewish community here uh, because about one third of the people uh, got murdered uh, during the Second World War. Other people who fled didn't come back so that uh, you had only uh, roughly a few hundred people who came back after the war to Luxembourg and started to build up a new Jewish community here. Luxembourg got uh, liberated in September 1944. It took time for the Jews to come back to Luxembourg, those who wanted to come back. Uh, because there was a big problem of transport, a problem of uh, finding uh, sometimes uh, their home. Uh, a lot of things disappeared during the war, uh, so uh, they had to start from the scratch. So those people who came back were uh, either people with the Luxembourg nationality, who uh, always lived here, or foreign Jews who came to Luxembourg in the 1930s. There were roughly 4,000 people in Luxembourg on 10th of May 1940 when the Germans invaded uh, Luxembourg. The Jews at the time knew the war was coming. There was a huge uh, catastrophe in the Jewish community uh, at the time. And when you see what happened after the war, there were only a few hundred who came back and the vitality of the Jewish community was not the same anymore after the war than before the war. So the synagogue was uh, rebuilt. Well, this is the third synagogue in, in Luxembourg history, uh, which was uh, built and inaugurated in 1953. Uh, and uh, this was the start of new Jewish life in Luxembourg after the war. Uh, on the top of the building you see an inscription where you can see that uh, it is written in Hebrew that uh, uh, the glory of this house will shine even more than the old one. It's uh, uh, something which was taken out of the Bible and which applied to the Luxembourg situation as the former synagogue was destroyed by the Nazis during the war. Nazis wanted to erase uh, everything which dealt with Jewish life in Luxembourg. It took time for the Jews to come back to Luxembourg, those who wanted to come back, uh, because there was a big problem of transport, a problem of uh, finding uh, sometimes uh, their home. Uh, a lot of things disappeared during the war, uh, so uh, they had to start from the scratch. So those people who came back were uh, either people with the Luxembourg nationality, who uh, always lived here, or foreign Jews who came to Luxembourg in the 1930s. In the north of the country, there is a place called uh, Cinque Fontaine, where um, there was uh, during the war a mini ghetto uh, where Luxembourg Jews were held in, in, on, on this place. Uh, around 300 people went there, uh, were forced to go there, uh, and were deported from that place to, to the east totally new monument which was inaugurated this year in 2018 uh, which was done by a French sculptor who was himself uh, in a concentration camp and who luckily escaped and is now also a symbol for all the Jewish victims uh, which uh, lived before in Luxembourg. So it's the first monument we have in Luxembourg city about uh, the Shoah 
uh, it took a long time, as you can imagine, uh, to uh, erect such a monument here in the city, uh, which shows that uh, uh, it took also a long time to uh, cultivate the memory of the Jewish part of Luxembourg history. We first had to reveal their private life, of course, their professional life, uh, to, to earn money, etc. And then they started also to build the, again a small infrastructure uh, in the Jewish community. The problem was they couldn't build the new synagogue on the same spot again, uh, so they had to find a new place where to build the synagogue and this finally was resolved in the beginning of the 1950s and uh, a new synagogue was built with the help of the Luxembourg state and it was inaugurated in 1953. Uh, a lot of things were destroyed here, uh, not only the synagogues but also all the documents which uh, um, belonged, for example, uh, to Jewish families uh, unless they could escape and take some documents with them. The situation for the Jews has worsened in the last 20-30 years, that's clear. But as I said, in Luxembourg we are lucky that for the moment the, this kind of aggressions, mainly verbal aggressions, are still limited in their scope uh, and the Jews here more or less uh, still feel uh, very safe.